all super pro wrestle persons are highly trained professional athletes. Do not attempt to copy their performances or actions. This program is solely intended for your viewing pleasure. Moves have been missed. He fell flat on the face. It was pure embarrassing. Physics have been broken. What the fuck am I mad? The laws of time and space shattered in an instant. <laughs> yes, this is entertainment, but the glitches are real. Whoever you are, whatever you do, please don't look at this at all. The Super Pro Wrestle it is the annual Halloween spectacular this year, the heel turn of the living dead. Ten glorious matches that will clean even the trickiest of sea-bound mammals. I don't care how few of you get the reference. We are going straight <laughs> to our opening contest, which will be Finn Anthony defending the Twitch.tv Championship against Brian J. Here we go, about to get our first outfit of the evening. We could ask, who's it going to be? I think some of you may be able to tell by the music. Also, please let me know how the audio levels are for, for this. Making his way to the ring as Pee Wee Herman. It is 
Brian Jay had to get something with a bow tie in there, I would assume. And speaking of familiar music, I have to wonder what angle they're going with this one, given the familiar theme we're hearing right now. There he is, Mortal Kombat. Wait. No, wait. That's Mortal Paul Kotblar. We've been swindled by the Twitch.tv champion. And you have to be prepared for bad puns if you're going to be part of Super Pro Wrestle. Rudo Lee as the bride of Frankenstein on refereeing duties. And they are starting off hot and heavy, drop kicked right out of the ring. Nice suplex takeover there. Sent into the ropes. Oh, avoids, runs into him like a fool. Slides under, and again. Oh, try to tire out his opponent. Could be a smart move. Into that sling blade bulldog. Brian Jay though with the obvious power advantage. Taken down by the snapmare though. Roly poly sent on. German already. Only two. Back into the ropes and just big right hand taking the champ down to the mat. Missed with the drop kick. Another brutal German suplex. Fast and furious in the opening for this one. Looking for the suplex, gets reversed all the way to the outside. Adjusting the bow tie before going out in lukewarm pursuit. Nice reversal, a suplex on the floor. Beats the count back into the ring. Although no one's dressed as the Count. And the turnbuckle just rapid fire chops. And then some more. Up top. Corkscrew moonsault. And it's just to get a bit of separation with the elbow, with the face. But the champ still in control before getting just urinated right into the mat. Rolly pulley elbow, but too close to the ropes. And war beckons him to the outside. Fisherman Buster! Hooks the legs for the cover. And here they go, trading blows. Those whip like chops, tells him not uh uh, get down. Misses and gets taken down another suplex. Hooks the leg, cover. 
another big Uranagi. Challenger looking to re uh, regain, I beg your pardon, this championship. Bit of a foolish movement there from the champion up into the tree of Joy Lawrence. Dropped on his bonds. Tries it again. And just rapid fire kicks to the midsection. Knocking the wind out of the challenger here. And now given the other side of the arena, the view of that one. Hooks the leg. Nearly gone. Snap suplex. Oh, hoists him up. Face plants him. Perhaps looking for the cattle mutilation likes to follow that with. Must need some kick to the head, and that was some discus elbow into the cover. Still can't keep him down. Up oh, into the octopus hold. Making sure he's got the positioning right. Nothing doing. Oh. Nice straight combination, dazing the challenger. But just gets folded like an accordion with the power bomb. Still manages to kick out. Snap dragon. They're going crazy in here. Oh, nice takedown. Rolls through into the cover. Still can't put him away. This plan again to the cattle mutilation and gets the win. Your winner and still the Twitch.tv champion, Ben Anthony. And a 91 right out of the gate. Wait the start. Okay, so without further ado, we're going to trios action next. Oh wait. Better make sure I've got the rules right. Got planned. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Without further ado, coming up next, we're going to trios action. It is a, will be the bourgeoisie plus a mystery partner going up against X-Factor 2000. There they are, coming out to the regular music of one uh, Richard G. Hawk. What have they got for us tonight? Who is the mystery? It's Rybuka, not in costume. Are you ready? Meanwhile, we've got Dragon Spike as Zatanna. Richard G. Hawk is the penguin. We're getting word that Rybuka is not in costume as he has been, quote, told he has to earn that bow tie. And here come X Factor 2000 representing the free faces of Altman. You see one, two, three kid at the front, six in the middle, X Pack at the back. Here we go. They've gone for the X Factor already. 
Pardon me. And, and the SDF. X Factor 2000, not wasting any time. Jay getting the tag. The former WrestleVerse champion just tossed out the ring there. Oh, looking for a victory roll back to the arm. And you have to say, as well as Dragon Spike Jinx as well, someone you do not want them to get a hold of your arm. Yeah. Making the tag, here comes the new member, or potential new member of the bourgeoisie. Slides through. Gets caught with the spine buster though. I mean, obviously the, we've got the three faces of Waltman here. Of, you know, obviously we've got the one kid, the two kid and the three kid. If I can drop the character for a moment, essentially <laughs> Spy Dragon, I was just like looking up fictional characters who wear bow ties. <laughs> and I was like, Zatanna always looks rad, that'll do. Oh, big punch in the corner. Makes the tag. And again, you know, the Team Atomic Breath section of this trio, Dragon Spike and Victor G. Hawk, a highly decorated team. They've won multiple titles, both as a team and on their own. They hit the double super kick. Rolls through though. Almost like a gator roll into that Kimura. And here they go, trading back and forth. Back to the arm. Dragon Spike certainly caught in the wrong side of town here. Makes the tag to Richard G. Penguin. Rear naked choke, not the legal participant. Yeah. Former Pier 6 champion, of course. Yeah. Multiple times, no less. Short arm clothesline hits the ropes. Likes that pumping bomber style lariat. Slips out the back, gets caught by the elbow and the wheel kick. Right back up though. Rolls through. Camel clutch. Kicks the leg out the leg. Grounded Pele kick. Lantern. Penguin up top. Having a bit of a grind before the Rana. Only manages the two count. And things breaking down here. You see quick tags being made by both teams. Rapid fire strikes. J 
Jake Hill's gone up top, thought better of it, realised the ex-champ was recovering. And just brutal ground and pound here. Broken up, saved by his teammates. Deal low leg drop. Back to the arm. And the bourgeoisie take it. Sixty-nine percent only, but on well, on one hand only, but on the other hand, nice. Okay, so coming up next, we have the costume party battle royal. Thirteen lucky or unlucky participants. Who will be the winner this year? Let's find out. Coming out first, Bean Club Six Jack dressed as Kurt Angle. Will the Bean kick in? And number two, oh god, the other member of Bean Club also has Kurt Angle. As noted there on the on the Chiron. <laughs> Bit of a fashion faux pas, but we'll allow it. Fight. And of course these two good competitors. No, we'll not go easy on each other. But you have to think, or is that part of them just kind of biding their time, waiting on the third competitor coming out? That is a good question. Who does the angular pace benefit here? Oh, knows Rafatu, number three. Which, yes, it is just Rikishi in a cape. Yeah. And a bit paler. And here the double teaming can begin. No, it's not super quiche, it's nose refatu. Go watch out, he is a vampire. Number four, secret agent super dragon. How much is he gonna stiff people? Glad to see some of you get the joke. <laughs> and the ring already starting to fill up with some of your favourite superstars and other people as well. Will he hit the action missile and romance it? Number five, Alex Shelley's Frankensteiner. Clearly couldn't get neck bolts on such short notice, so he's just got an arrow through his head. And immediately dumped out of the ring. And we have our second elimination.
Anton Suplex reversal again. Trying to disarm him. Number six, Gristle McFord body. We've not seen him in a while. Clearly dressed as David Ryder from Space Mutiny. Not sure I understand the connection. He's, got, he's a big strong boy, he will be tough to get out, out over the top. Nice Enziguri there from Jack. Who will be next? Oh, Vanderhuge as Bob Johnson, I guess. So now we've got two big strong boys in there. Roll fizzle beef. <laughs> uh, I'm happy with how many are getting those jokes at least. <laughs> Who will be next? Next out, Mark Ansoni is Captain N. And immediately with the big boy. Oh, Gamble Apocalypse thrown out. Alex King as Michael Myers, number nine. Big scoop slam there, and Gristle McFarn body. Number ten, Jet Jaguar. Like actual no fool and Jet Jaguar. Agent Super Dragon managing to hang on there. But third time lucky. So secret Agent Super Dragon thrown out by Six Jack. The first entrant still in there. Out goes Jet Jaguar. Number 11 is Gay Kane. The big rainbow machine himself. Oh, we got a Petty Smack battle going on. Big scoop slam there from Jack, who is still. In there, Bronson the Imposter. That's not an Among Us. This motherfucker just put on a bike helmet. What are you doing, Bronson? The booing from the crowd begins. <laughs> and number 13. Big Chef has the Maniac Cop. So one of these individuals will be the winner of the Costume Party Battle Royal this year. Right. 
double team maneuver here from Gay Kane and Bronson. But the rules reversed. And so he falls to the outside after performing that move, but he's hot, so the ref allows it. Big delayed vertical suplex there. Out goes Gay Kane. Out goes me. God damn, six jack on a roll there. We're down in the final four. Captain M, the maniac caught, and among us in Kurt Angle. Locking in the banana hammock, not going to get him over the top that way, but it will do some damage. Big elbow there, knocked back though by the Maniac Chef. Oh, helicopter slam all the way in the outside, we are down to three. Up top, oh, tried for something a little bit different there, didn't quite pull it off. Bronson slips out the back, whipped into the buckle. Out goes Jack, we are down to two. One of these two men will win the costume party battle royal. Missed with the Superman punch, go behind. Big atomic drop. Big suplex. Big ass. Ba boom. Bronson hanging on desperately. Big turn in Yurinagi. Likes to follow with the big boy, but Bronson back up quick enough. Gives him a running good spanking. We've seen Ansoni win matches with that. Bronson bottom, up top, frog splash, not shot, and just smacking his opponent upside the head, still manages to hang on, takes the go bang, low blow, another low blow, frog splash to the back, Bronson bottom, Got someone in the crowd. Oh, locks in. The first trap in again. Oh, referee taking a knee. They must be playing the hand from somewhere. And Bronson is the winner of the costume party battle royal. I am sorry to say. <laughs> Crowd are pissed, and then some. Big hundo though, so not too many complaints. As we move on now. Coming up next is a triple threat match with the WrestleVerse Championship on the line. Mocha Sato defending against Firehawk Centaro and Hannah Brately. Again, we have some familiar music there.
I, I don't know how Beetlejuice tastes. I can't imagine it's particularly nourishing. But nonetheless, that is the outfit that Firehawk has gone with. Big Hans Johnson is Hellboy for the referee. Now wait a damn minute. I mean, if they're doing what I think they're doing, we've already had enough fashion faux pas in the costume party battle royal. I mean, I don't think it is a surprise, <laughs> considering their opponent is wearing the same outfit. But thank you very much, Kiwi. And... Oh, God. Well, it's going to be a difficult match to call without summoning something. See double here. Twelve beetle juice. And certainly the power, the physical power that has that Mokasato has is something. They're going to have to watch out for it. This is not one fall to a finish, by the way. It is elimination rules. Nine... What's the, what's the plural of Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice? I don't know. Beetle Jai? I don't know. This is a Beetle Juicy match. I mean, was that the problem all along with Firehawk? Was he not feeling to? Beetle juicy. Of course, if one of them once one of them gets eliminated, the joke's ruined. <laughs> for that spinning victory roll. And right now, Firehawk in control. Playing spin, looking to daze the champ. Down in the center of the ring, European uppercut. And again, fire hole looking strong here.
trying to tire out Anna Brightly while going back after Firehawk. Could be a smart move. Especially with suplexes like that on the go. Frog splash off the top. Only one. Tried for the victory roll, got caught. Huge back suplex there from Firehawk. But Saddle back in control gets caught, cut off by Firehawk. Charging double axe handle. Oh, here they go, trading back and forth. Might not be a smart idea against someone the caliber of Mokasato, but brightly gets the better of it nonetheless. Nice combination, but brightly back into it. First two count in the match. Oh, he stayed up. Took too long with it. And that's the thing about these kind of matches, there's always going to be someone ready to cut you off. Oh, big deadlift turning back suplex. And again, that power of the champion, but across the knee. Give up. The champ will not give up, though. Looking for the rack. Sets up, planted beautifully. Neck breaker and a beauty. Hits another. Nice bit of double team in there. It's caught. Out reverses. Caught with the elbows. So the thing of putting three wrestlers with really short attention spans into a match together. Punch neck breaker, probably. Pretty sure that's an MST 3K space mutiny character as well. Jawbreaker gets caught across the knee. Huge German to the outside. Firehawk out of commission for the moment. Brightly getting planted up top into the rack. Burning hammer. And a dazed Hannah Brightly. No wonder. Taking this kind of punishment. Crisscross. Run for the single leg. Cut off. And back and forth. Firehawk and Brightly. Oh no, oh yes. Hits the lariat. Casadora Stomp. Straight jacket, German. Brilliant broke it up. Flies in for the Meteora. The counts are getting closer. Brightly's just vibing. It's fun. Drop kicked out of the ring. Left alone with Sato. Yeah. 
sleeper slam into the cover still can't put the champ away rainbow bridge big delayed suplex firehawk cuts it off Suplex of his own. You fool. And again, Anna just vibing. Suplex. Forearm. Elbow. More elbows. Almost all the way to the floor, brightly broke it up. Looking for the rack. Driven down! Broken up for reasons best known to themselves. Across the knee. Into the sharpshooter. The champ still will not give up. German suplex caught jawbreaker. Still no eliminations yet. Off the ropes. Big lariat there. Firehawk on a tear at the moment. Discus Lariat just <laughs> soaked to the floor. The thing where a match like this, anytime you pull off anything, you're going to have someone else coming at you. You fool. Yeah. Sling Blade. Trying for the double team. Sat will fight them both off. Overhead press. Here come. Oh, God. Don't think they got all of that. Right now, it is brightly on the tear. Into the cover. Still can't put the champ away. Taking it to the legs again. Spinning Phil Nelson. You fool. This match may be too chaotic. Brightly, middle lock. First elimination. Mocha says, I'm not finished with you. But Firehawk says, I'm finished. Cazadora stomp. Release Kreutz Wrath. Up into the rack. German suplex. And still a kick out. Not finished there, Jackhammer. And Mocha Sato retains.
What a match indeed. Rightly awarded with the big 100%. Your winner and still WrestleWare champion, Woka Sato. So coming up next it is the swan song of one Forever Craig, who is deciding to hang up the boots. He's always been a valued uh, member of the Super Pro Wrestle community. Uh, we decided to allow him to choose his last opponent. He chose his longtime tag partner, Canadian Zebra. The match will also be refereed by the also retired and now a Super Pro Wrestle official, CM Chainsaw, the third man in their trio, the, the inaugural Menage a Trois champions. So join us as we say thank you, Craig, and enjoy him wrestle for one last time. Making his way out first, Canadian Zebra, under the guise of one Eric Sparrow, very popular video game character from the Tony Hawk series, helps him skating his way down to the ring. And here we go, the final match of Forever Craig. And you hear the strains of Betty Davis' Eyes by Kim Carnes. Which may give some of you a clue if you get the reference. Making his way to the ring is Malin Ackerman's character from the Final Girls. Referee CM Chainsaw, of course, dressed as Garth Marenghi because we know wrestling promotions who use subtext and they're cowards. Here we go. Taking a bow, perhaps for the last time. You bastard. Gets the back elbow in. I mean, Zeep, a very hard hitting competitor compared to the variety of style that Forever Craig has. You bastard. Tends to be a bit more brutal with it. It's the shoulder tackle. Normally when Zeb goes up top, he gets thrown that chair, maybe can't bring himself to do it to Craig. Craig go up top. Roly poly sent on. I'm feeling almost a subdued affair. And there is a sadness to this one, of course, as well as a celebration. 
You bastard. Drop kick. Bye forever, Craig. Into that cross arm, Craiger. Just a charging big boot. Several strikes to the face. Dropped him on his dome. Looks in the Boston Craig. You bastard. It's the clothesline, but Craig with the elbows. Center of the ropes, knee to the gut, zeep up top, drops the elbow right into the back. Several shots there. Billy, Billy Craig Plex. Craig screw neck breaker. Back elbow in the corner, snap suplex by Zeb. Moonsault with the chair. Deciding owes it to Craig to not hold back on his final match. There's a twist to Craig, into the cover. Is he not staying down though? Now planting Craig up top. Oh God! Magenta Flosion! Not stopping there! Drops the elbow! I'm sorry, I love you, I think he shouted. Billy Billy Craig Plexo. Going up top. Flying Craig's body. Again, just dumping him on his head. Cross body of his own. I'm sorry, I love you. And at what point does it get where the upset is caused, you know, where they're begging one another to stay down. Two very close friends here, driven on his head again. DDT! Going up top. Hit him in the roly-poly. Craig Runner! Once again, taking a bow. I'm sure he'll miss this crowd. Big trying for the cover. Cannot keep him down. Zeb up top. Flies off with the elbow. Magenta Flosion all the way to the floor. You have to think that might, would, might have ended it. It's stayed in the ring. Twist to Craig on the floor though. He had just enough left. Going for the candle. No, a light tube, I beg your pardon. But can't bring himself to hit with it. Locks in the Craig for that. Saying, please, don't hurt. Let's not hurt each other anymore. Twist to Craig. 15, 15, Beats the count. 16. Back to the outside. It does hurt more on the floor, it must be true, it rhymes. Going for another light tube. Desperate to end his last match with an impact. Twister Craig going up top. Flying Craig's body. Dr 
dropped on his thumb. I'm just beating him in the corner. Please stay down. Yelling. I'm sorry, I love you. After every match, after every move, I beg your pardon, just in case it's the one that does it. Missed with the elbow. Thank you. Cross arm, Krager. Trying for the cover. And of course, between these two, you know Chainsaw is a man that is going to call it right down the middle. Just relentless with the elbows at this point. Couldn't bring himself to do another. You bastard. Quick jab, takes him down. The bye fly flow! Into the cross arm Krager. Planting him up in the tree of Joy Lawrence. And just repeatedly booting him in the ribs. Back to the other side. Back it over. Back. Oh, not backbreaker. Side slam, I beg your pardon. I'm sorry, I love you. Driving him on his head again. Going for the back. Craig with the elbows. Into the Craigle clutch. Low blow. Desperation reversal, perhaps. Craig with the cover. Twist to Craig. Craig's body. Just the repeated dropping on the head. Just beating each other to a pulp. Craig says, get down. Zeb says, no, you. Missed with the elbow. Flying Craig's body. You bastard. Cover. Only two. Twist of Craig. And again, just the, the number of those diving elbows that have been hit here. Oh, chainsaw's down. Taking the opportunity to have a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. Big boy sent on. The backbreaker. Rake screw neck breaker. Into the cover. Craig Runner! Out at two. Sweep the leg, Johnny. Caught him with a knee. Up top! Elbow! And there is the magenta flosion. Has to be it, you would think. Zeb is your winner. Goodbye, Craig.
And what a way to bout out a perfect hundred with his long time partner. Thank you, Craig. We'll miss you, buddy. All right. Coming up next, tag team action. As the Banger Machines will take on Dates on Review. Jack. Making their way to the ring. In the guise of Diabolic and Ava Kant. There is Steel Morgan. Stephen Morgan. And Jen Steele. Refereed, of course, by the ghost of Andrew WK. Taking on Dr. Forrester and TV's Frank. Even without it being an MST 3K reference, Brian, like, Danger Diabolic is literally one of my favourite movies. Whereas that is very much an MST 3K reference. If I could may drop the character for a moment. So yeah, Diabolic is like huge in mainland Europe. Uh, they're actually in the process of doing a new trilogy of Diabolic films. Uh, the third one is out, I believe, next month. I've watched the first two. Uh, the, the first one is very good. The second one's okay. Uh, but yeah, they're worth watching. Also, like, uh, Miriam Leon, who plays Eva Kant in the new ones, woman. Case in point, right? Give me a second. Second. Just so you know what I'm on about. Because I'm assuming at least a good few of you have seen the original Diabolic movie. This is the woman that plays Eva Kant in the new ones. Drop to a hold there from Diabolic. Diabolic versus TV's Frank, by the way. What a match. Ava Kant versus TV's Frank. What a match. Another recover off the Meteora. TV's Frank getting angry there.
And now Dr. Forrester going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ava Khan. What a sentence. Short knees there from Dr. Forrester. Followed by the European uppercut and, and the delicious cover. Diabolic trying to run interference. Big sent on. Also, with what you were saying about the music, Jen, so uh, it was actually uh, Eden helped me pick this one when I was looking for ideas. <laughs> or helped me pick this band, rather. This is a, a band called The Ghastly Ones who just do like surf rock, which is always good for Halloween. Here they go, toe to toe, Diabolic and TV's Frank. I don't know if TV's Frank could hit a rolling thunder. Getting slappy with it. And the dragon! Things starting to break down here. Why does TV's Frank have a sword? Break of the chins. A variation of the first trap locked in. Push kick. You fools. I don't know if Dr. Forrester could pull that off. But okay, we'll allow it. Total elimination! Very true chainsaw. Any move where you take off your head would suit TV's Frank. Yeah. What a combination! <laughs> Maybe. You fool! Oh god, yeah, that is true, Brian. He is pretty jacked. You fool! Attempt broken up. Why is Dr. Forrester head banging? I reckon Diabolic could probably hit a good Uranagi. Oh, 
Right trip. Into the choke. Ghost of Andrew WK administering the count. Taking one for the team there is Diabolic. Still fighting back. Huge Uranagi. Things breaking down. Back and forth they go. In the action gets the tag. Underneath a steel sky. Broken up. Or is it beneath a steel sky? And this stupid sword attack does it! Big hundo! I'll do! And we have four matches left! Coming up next for the Pier 6 Championship in a death match, NL Slip versus the champion, C to D. And it's the Joker, baby. Joker Slip is here. Going up against the champion. See, did it. See did he run? Except he's not running to the ring right now, taking his time. As Freddy Krueger, which I'm sure has nothing to do with him watching like all of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies this month. Here we go. And immediately. And he'll slip not holding back. Trying to rip the champion's head off. Get cursed squished. Head off the rope circuit. Oh! Trying for that gut wrench power bomb, reversed it into the head scissors. Of course it is Swedish. Is there any other live action Joker? I don't think so. Well, actually, no, I modelled them more in the cartoon one, but yeah. Mm. They're very similar in dress. Fox in the shut the fuck. Yep. 
Get killed. You get punched in the face with those claws. It's gonna stink. Works it back. Nothing doing yet. Get curse bloodied. Going for the cover. Oh, no. Please jump up. I will neither confirm nor deny whether or not it was intentional. <laughs> and he's got a hammer. I'm not afraid to use it, but gets just soaked in the face. Drops the fist again. Cover only one still only one counts happening. The champion not making great use of the weaponry at his disposal. Covered attempt. Finally we get a two. Let's jump up! The fuck you! Cover! Nearly put the challenger away. That would have been a very fire pro finish, but that would work for Slip. And back to the hammer. Instead, the hammer like elbow. That one's not quite the fuck you, maybe just simply the fuck. Have to take the back, Bulldog. Slip flex does not do it. Must be the cutter attempt. Got slip going for here. Suplex off the barbed wire board. Finally, yep, finally we have blood. Mr. So Champ just getting the, the bricks beat off him at this point. But there's the fuck you! Let's not do it. Slip wet. Push up neck breaker. Where's he doing that with the hand? Back breaker. Like so across the knee. Twisty ball. Now you get exploded. Great and back and forth. Trading close lines, both down. Slipper splash in the corner. This is up for the gut buster. Champ off the ropes. Big shoulder tackle, almost barreling. Slip out of the ring there. Trying to fight back. to those exploding boards on the outside. He is gushing with blood now. Get her squished. Really taking it to the champ now. He looks like he could be in trouble. 
Barrels with a shoulder tackle. Yeah. Come on, up, get the fuck up. <laughs> no, stay the fuck down. He gets the fuck up. He knocks him the fuck down. Big boy sent on. Rolled out for the backbreaker. Willie Bird bomb. No sold. Big boy. Now trying to choke the life out of the challenger with those claws, no less. The damage that must be doing. He did the deal. Nobody kicks out of the Falcon Arrow except the champ, apparently. The ropes, Lariat. Caught in the bulldog once again onto the microphone. Slip legs. Damage being done to the back of the challenger. Still kicking out though. Keep its effect. Into the slippy and deathlock, I don't know. Slippy and death drop. And exploded once again. The champion, a real mess at the moment. Slip flex. See the blood pulling around where he was put on the mat. Oh, Texas joking with that's good. <laughs> Drops the claw. Lowercase AA. Jumping car there. And once again, toe to toe they are going. Somehow unable to bust open any of slip. Even with the claws. Even while driving them into the head like that. And the rolling bomb! See that he still the champion. So your winner, and still, the Pier 6 champion, C. Diddy. Coming up next, Team Super Pro Wrestle, led by Holly Root, along with Jordan Casanova and Kingpin Jim, going up against Team Regime of Brick Brickoverson, Dick Ryder, and Glock Puller. Music hitting in bombastic style for this one. We need to wait and see what outfits they have. Dressed as an assortment of Venture Brothers villains. We see Phantom Limb, Hair Trigger, and of course Brick Frog. Big Hands Johnson is Hellboy again, the referee. And their opponents. Now I imagine some may recognise the music. Hollywood as Buckaroo Banzai. We wait patiently on his partners. 
Jordan Casanova as Perfect Tommy. And King Pendrim as New Jersey with Flan Cabaret. As Penny Pretty is a bit extra for the entrance. There is Bucket Rude Banzai, Perfect Jordan, and New Jimsy. Fight. So it'll be Dick Ryder and Jim starting things off, drop to hold. King Pinjim as New Jersey, the character from Buckaroo Banzai, played by one Jeff Goldblum, of course. Suplexed to the outside, I don't think that ever happened to Jeff Goldblum. So back to the gut. Tags in Buckaroo. Fighting both a DMV off. It's very good, by the way, uh, Swedish. And without spoilers, Brick Frog does show up in it. Why is that watermelon there? Good question, Dino. Hello, how are you doing? Roll up from Perfect Jordan. Right in there with hair trigger at the moment. Suplex and a beauty. Perfect Jordan with the perfect suplex. And a perfect punch to the deck. Tags made to Holly Rude. And Brick Brickofferson. Finally, face to face. And again, like him or hate him, Brick's skills have improved. Sending them into the corner with the drop hit. Tags in perfect Jordan. You get suplexed out of the ring immediately. Rude flies in with the knee, locking in the paradise lock. A perfect paradise lock, no less. Brick getting the hell out of dodge, tag, tags in phantom limb. Dick Ryder, of course. It's the ropes for the big boy. Dodges the suplex, gets caught, jawbreaker. Get some of that. Into the cover. The regime. Coming in in full force. Gets the tag to New Jimsy. I understand he thought he was just going to rehearse with those guys. Picks up the back. Brain Buster! Lazy Boy style. Tags in the Brick Frog. There's the car crash. Not done with the partner he usually does it with. Quick tag made. Quick tags being made by both teams. A Tommy drop and a run all the way to the floor, and it is kicking off out there.
Bodies everywhere. Oh shit, he's got a gun! Things just breaking down big style on the outside. Brick bringing a chair into the ring. Tag made to perfect Jordan. It's the muff dive. Oh, was maybe thinking Van Dancenator there. Instead, going to it over here, trigger. Big suplex it. Close line and or beauty. Another quick tag there. It's the nice suplex, kicks the leg out of the leg. Root back up though. Irish whip into the Jeebus effect elbow. <laughs> Why not, Dino? Sure. Sliding elbow. Just barely able to kick out and things breaking down in the ring once again. Welcome in Morrigan. Better late than never. You join us for Team Regime versus Team Super Pro Wrestle. Let's take over from Rude. Into the ginky pseudo giant swing. Takes it back. Reversal. Rolling elbow. Tag to perfect Jordan. Flash kick on the floor. It's the ropes looking for the leg drop. That is the leg drop that won him the title. Kick out, there's the car crash. Fighting back with the bionic Elmo. Indeed, Dino. Breaking up, things kicking off once again. Oh, caught. Bricked. Into the cover. And Brick wins it with the brick. Not so perfect after all. Team Regime get the win, I am sorry to say. 95%, it also breaks the, the, the run of perfect hundos. Fucking boo. Okay, so, coming up next is the WAP Championship match. Robin Jones getting the rematch from Fisselmania against the long-time champion, Hippo Jambo. Making her way to the ring, dressed as the tech. Is Robin Jones. Up against the champion as... Sui.
There we go. Hippo Jambo has held this title for over a year and a half. Very slutty indeed. These two had a hell of a contest back at Fistlemania. But no one has been able to wrest that title away from Hippo Jambo. Refereed, of course, by uh, Jojo Lee as the Bride of Frankenstein. Kicks the leg out of the leg beautifully. Paws aren't meant to go in there. Cheeks in the corner. Oh, submission move of the drone. And here we go, the Teddy Smack battle. The only grab staple taking place between Sooty and the Tech. Goes really well with the music, incidentally. Oh, uh, EJ, this is Hippo dressed as Sooty, uh, a popular uh, children's TV show puppet uh, here in the UK. I'm trying to rip the mask off, that could be a disqualification. Covered attempt, only one. Cheeks to the back of the head. And again, trying to tear the mask off. You hear the crowd reacting to that. Big old Larry into the chicken wing. Even though it's a bear. Rammed in the corner. Planting the champion up top. Baiting the challenger. Got still fell driver into the cover. Up in that tree of joy, Lawrence. Thank you for that one, Dino. Slapping the leg, that's how you know it hurts in wrestling. Trying to choke the champion, but all that's gone and done is make them more powerful. German suplex though. And just taking a rest on the challenger's face. Only two. Get cheeked. Uh, Sooty uh, Swedish is a popular uh, children's TV show puppet here in the UK. Like, has literally been going on since, like, the 50s. Oh, 
Clutch still, pedal driver! Cover attempt. Nearly a new champion there. Cannonball in the corner. Maybe setting up. Oh, thought it was maybe looking for the Blade Runner there. Takes it back into the corner. Oh, that's a great idea, Swedish. Power bomb, but rolled through into the cover. Hey, Swedish, hey, how are you doing? The champ off the ropes. Oh, messed with that one. Into the corner. Cheeked. Nice takedown though. Into the submission. Too close to the ropes. Why wouldn't Sooty have teeth, slow jams? Oh, reversal. Into the Kimura. Big they sent on. German suplex center in the ring. Nowhere to go. And here they go again. A Teddy Smack battle between the Tick and Sooty. Because of course. Rolling elbow. Says get down. Hippo says no you. Off the ropes, kicks the leg out the leg. Pump Hippo power bomb, and the rain goes on. Ninety percent of them. I mean, still the champ. Who, I ask you, who can possibly wrestle that title away from Hippo Jambo? And now it's the main event time. Scotty Two Clarky, the former champion, getting another shot at the Super Pro Wrestle Grand Championship held by Eden. Familiar music of the Swedish ace filling the arena. Here he is as Devil May Cry Guy, mainly because I thought writing Devil May Cry Guy in the Chiron would be fun. And now the chap. Who has been a fighting champ. As we await the unveiling of the outfit, and it is what's her name from Clueless? I just got shown the picture, I haven't seen the film since I was a teenager, so don't ask me the character's name. <laughs> no, share things, you can turn back time. Here we go, main event! 
two fairly evenly matched competitors, similar styles, a lot of striking, a lot of submissions. A couple of snapmares from the former champ. I'm busting open the champ already! And worth noting, unlike a lot of recent title matches we have had, You know, no blood feud or rivalry in this one. You know, there is respect here, certainly. It's not a brick brick offersen situation. Where they're just out to end their opponent. Snap suplex there. And locking up a devilish submission. Sent into the ropes. Takes a go behind and a knee right into the spine and again the kick to the top of the head. And here they go. Back and forth. Sent into the ropes. Nice arm drag into the cover. Nothing doing as yet. Double stomp there by the champ. Followed by the huge back suplex. Over attempt. You're not going to put either of these two away that quickly. Certainly not. No siree. Michinoku driver, the first of no doubt many. Slips out the back of the suplex, gets caught by the Pele kick. Which is kind of like a Pele kick, but pronounced correctly. Looking at you wrestling commentators. Roshi Groshi. Just the violent stomps to the face. I've seen Eden win many a match with that manoeuvre. Going for the heel hook. There it is, the Pele again. Just boot to the face. Nothing fancy, but it will be effective. Hoist it up, though. Running driver. Nothing doing. Into the corner. One more. With the knee. Followed by the bulldog. Michinoku driver. Nearly put the champ away there. Big brain buster. Trying for almost a mouse trap in there. These two continue to try and wear each other down. Just cannons into the chest there. With the double stomp. Another brain buster just repeatedly dropping the challenger on his head. And now the hammer elbows into the neck. So much additional damage that does. See the elbows thrown to the apron. And just booted to the floor. It's the ropes always trying. Maybe for that. Well, that. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And back to the choking elbows. Snap suplex. TNA kick to the back of the head there. Jumping TNA kick, rather. And here they go, trading once again. Roundhouse kick. 
ending that one off double stomp again you can see these two are just going hard That's why they're both exhausted already planting the challenger up top Brain Buster Avalanche style. There. The bell lock locked in. Nothing doing. Oshi Groshi. And again with the Brain Buster. Man is not going to have a neck left by the end of this. They're walking around like Tomohiro Ishii. There she is, up the top, missed with the frog splash. Even up the top, does not miss with the double stomp, right into the back. Challenger though, trying to power up. It's the ropes. Oh, got caught by the arm drag though. Maybe telegraphed it a little too much. Locked in the siren here, got nothing doing. Shining knee. Oshi Karoshi says that's it. The stomps! They're just rattling the head, it's still the challenger will not give up. Michinoku driver! Could not end it. Slips out the back. Takes time to taunt a little bit. Now trying for it again, but fights the champion off. Heli kick. There's the champ in the corner. Vicious kicks to the ribs there. Maybe setting up. For the running DDT. Bit slower to get back up there though. Tried for it again. Champion saw it coming. Looking for the stops. Locks it in and we have a result. Your winner and still the Super Pro Wrestle Grand Champion, Eden. And let's be honest, what a show it has been ending on a 90. Certainly nothing to be sneezed at. And wait a the regime on their way to the ring. See people taken out in the back there. And this is just this free on two and these two have had a great match. But how much do they have left to fight off this attack? Brick Brick Offerson, Virtue Juan and Trevor. You have issue with both these two. Here comes Sheep. What the fuck? Magenta Flosion on the champ. Magenta Flosion on the challenger. Damn you, Eric Sparrow! This sickening betrayal at the end of a fine night of action. Now we know why he wore that outfit. I think I'm gonna be sick. Concerto.
And even after the match, these two are fine warriors, but there's only so much that two can do against four. Just cementing the beat down. I mean, can't we get someone out there? 